Hello, my name is Louis Marquez Francois. I'm from Long Island, New York, and I'm a fine artist. I started painting in my teens, you know. Um, I'm originally from Haiti. I didn't start painting until I immigrated to, um, to the United States in 2002. In 2002, I started drawing, and then a few years later, I started painting with acrylic, of course, and it was easy and nice. And then um, as I continue my professional art career, and I switch to with oil, but I still paint with acrylic. So I would say acrylic and oil are my favorite mediums. At the time when I immigrated to the United States, um, I went to high school there in New Jersey, in Newark, New Jersey. And then I graduated. I attended to Bloomfield College in, in Bloomfield, New Jersey. And that's where I, I got my bachelor's degree in fine art and technology. My inspiration is based on um, nature, of course, and animals and human figures. And as you can see here, I use earth colors. Since I'm inspired you know, by nature, I love colors. Some of my inspirations come from music. So I take the human form and then kind of mix it together, sometimes with nature, with animals, with music instruments. For example, um, you can see this painting right here. You see a female figure here, but you know, I put a music instrument here because at that time when I was painting it, that's what I was inspired by. I've been inspired by female figures a lot. You know, you can see my painting and I have some more over here. This is, I, I would say, my first palette knife painting that I did. And of course, with another female figure, I can tell you each story every time I paint how I'm inspired in that moment, how I feel, or what I was inspired by, and everything that I was doing at that moment. And I put all of it on this painting, and I'm really proud of that. I wasn't really much into painting, even though I know since I was little I was an artist at heart. My whole motive was to be an art teacher, but not a professional painter. So I wanted to be an art teacher. And then I had certain jobs that get me into painting. So okay, all right, so let me just paint to see how I can express myself. Less than two years ago, I started painting. Look, you know, I created in less than two years, and. I have a lot more. I have a lot more paintings. So this is what I can show you guys right now and hope you guys enjoy it. This particular piece is one of my favorites. The reason being, I have this female figure right here and I have this animal. Obviously, it's a horse. You know, it's a dark horse. And usually, you know, um, people have this perception about seeing a dark horse is something I, I would say mystical, dark. But no, my thought at that time, you know, was completely different. In some cultures, dark horse means maturity empowerment and when I put the female there I know females have played a, a good role in our society you know for ages I know combining these two you know especially I was raised by my mother my mother and my father were together but at that time my father was um, living in the United States most of my time I was raised by my mother and I can see that my mother was a a great woman, a power, a powerful woman. So I know horse is a very strong animal. Putting these two together, that's why I got the mystical bond. So this is the bond that a horse and a female have. The female has the horse's spirit in order to make her more mature and more powerful, I would say. This particular piece, I call it dancing with fire. As you can see, is the female, you know, closing her eyes, she's feeling something. Of course, we don't know what it feels. As you can see, I have the music notes here. That's one of the reasons I call it Dancing with Fire. Since I told you in the early video that I'm, I'm from Haiti, and then we have the folklore dance. I was watching this video seeing our traditional dance, you know, Haitian dance, and I can have that feeling to see how these people are enjoying the dance. You know, we have the fire there. So I know I can't replicate the same thing I saw, but this is based on the video at the time I was watching, and I said, you know what? I have to create something how these people, you know, are feeling it, dancing with fire. That's kind of my interpretation of this painting. I know earlier I've been saying, you know, this is one of my favorite paintings. All my paintings are my favorites. I can go through it all day, all night. I will not stop, but let me shorten it. This background, I would say that's the desert of Africa. I put the background there and then the elephant there. It's not typical of an elephant color, but, you know, I specifically choose all you know, the colors, it's not something that I pick randomly. This woman right here, living Africa and leaving her children behind. Children, I don't put the human form there, I put the animals. 
in Africa, you know, there's a lot of elephants, and you know, sometimes we hear on the news that you know some elephants have been murdered. So that's one of the reasons that hey, she's living, but you can see the look in the elephant eye that hey, my mom is living. I'm kind of sad, and I have my kid with me too. The fact that is to remind that hey, don't worry. I'm coming back, even though I'm living, but I'm going back to the motherland. And you can see, I don't put the map of Africa here, but in the earring, I put the map of Africa there. So now, when you see, like, oh, okay, now I, hold the, I get the whole story. I think about this piece, trust me, I, I love it. And it's one of my favorites too. <laughs> the misperception about being an artist is that it's not a career that will bring you money. Um, don't think about the money when you do, if you choose to be an artist, okay? Think about uh, being a, a creator. It doesn't matter what kind of art you do, you know? Obviously, just believe in yourself. Keep creating, keep creating. No matter what people say, keep creating. You know, you might live it. I'm telling you sometimes, um, I leave art behind, but it pulls me back, it pulls me back. And I'm like, wait a minute, I don't wanna do art. No, I wanna be an art teacher, but no, it keeps you know pulling me back. I'm thinking about, I wanna be a creator, and I wanna express my feelings and I wanna show it to the world. Just believe in yourself, don't give up. It's hard, but keep going.